Welcome back my YouTube friends and family or welcome if you're new here. This is Lindsay and I am back with more daily work from home job leads for you. Is anybody else excited that tomorrow is Friday? This week has just felt so long to me. I don't know if it is just me or what. But of course, in today's video, we have some jobs from Decker's Brands, UPS, Sun Life. We even have a job that is completely non-phone and it is paying $48,000 a year or $923 a week. And it only requires you to have a customer service experience not call center experience because it is a non-phone customer service job. So please remember customer service can be anything that you've served another person. That can be working in like retail and department stores. That can be serving and waiting tables. That can be babysitting, mowing lawns, anything that you've done a service or served and helped other people. So most of us would qualify for those types of jobs. So we are gonna dive all in. Of course, as always, links, times, stamps any additional information you need to get to any of the pages that, that i'm sharing put those applications in is always in the youtube description box below this video i do just ask that if you enjoy anything that i share let me know by giving this video a thumbs up like button but without wasting any more time first up we have the company decker's brand now decker's brand if you don't know is like a shoe brand they have a 534 reviews on glassdoor they have an overall employee satisfaction rating of 3.9 out of 5 stars. They are looking for a customer care representative. This is going to be remote, but please note they are hiring in certain states only. They're looking in Colorado, Texas, and Arizona. But if you're in one of those states, they are looking for somebody to basically do a basic customer service. You're listening carefully to each customer, troubleshooting, and utilizing any resources they give you to help personalize the solutions for the customer tailored to them. So you're basically just going to be doing a problem problem solving with the customers. Now this is a shoe brand, so maybe they're having issues with their shoes. They're looking for products, features. They are having issues ordering on the website all kinds of things like that. They are looking for somebody who has one or more years of customer contact, customer service. You've got to have great communication skills. You've got to know how to work a computer, basic software systems like Microsoft Office, and you've got to have flexibility in your schedule to work different shifts as needed. Pay for this position looks like it's about $20 an hour. Now, next up, we have UPS hiring the shipping company. They probably need no introduction. They have 37,000 reviews with an overall employee satisfaction rating of 3.5 out of 5 stars. They are looking for a remote work from home customer solutions project specialist. Now, this one is going to require a little bit more skill set because it is in the lines of like project management, but they're looking for somebody to really just be responsible for planning, organizing, securing, and managing their resources that they need to achieve specific goals. So basically as a project coordinator or project manager, you are going to oversee and manage different UPS projects from start to finish or initiation to completion. So you're going to have to define the scope of the project, the goals of the project, what deliverables of the project Project are needed and develop a detailed project plan that then gets sourced out to all the other people to get that plan done. You'll kind of check on the plan to make sure that people are getting the things done that you have outsourced to them or that you have delegated to them making sure that your plan milestones or whatever are being hit so that the plan and the project is completed in a timely manner on time. You're going to keep customer solutions, project stakeholders informed of the progress on any of these projects. And of course, you're going to run data reporting and analyze that to make sure that everything is on target. Now, they do prefer somebody who has a bachelor degree for this one. They're looking for somebody who has project management skills. You've done project management before. You can do problem solving. You have great communication skills. But pay for this position is very well. It's anywhere from $29.25 an hour up to $54.15 an hour. 
But if you're here for the non-phone support type job, we have Whoop or WAP hiring. Now they only have 18 reviews on Glassdoor from past and current employees. So I always urge you do your own research on any companies before giving them your personal information. They do, however, out of those 18 reviews, come in at a 3.6 out of five star rating. They are looking for a customer support specialist. This is remote throughout the United States. It is going to be non-phone. You're going to be answering those customer questions through live chat on their intercom platform or software. Uh, but they are paying $48,000 a year for this position. If you take $48,000 a year and divide it by 52 weeks in a year, that's $923 a week. Now they are looking for somebody to be flexible. You can work anywhere in the United States, but they have different shifts available. They have an 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. shift. They have a second shift that runs 12 p.m. to 8 p.m. And then they have their third shift or evening shift that runs 4 p.m. to 12 a.m. All of these shifts are in Eastern Standard Time. So if you're outside of the time zone, you'll have to convert your hours, verifying that that works for you. They do have people who work five day, 40 hour week work weeks, but you're on a monthly rotating schedule. So please know you might have a day shift one month and then you might work second shift the other month is the way that I'm reading that. So you might have to be flexible in the shifts that you work, but they are looking for somebody just to be that go-to person for their users and creators, help fielding those questions. So it kind of lays out your first 30 days of what to expect, but they are going to teach you. You're going to dive into their products and services, get comfortable with their tools, learning their stuff and shadowing people that's already doing the job so that you kind of know how to do it before you take over with answering those questions. Again, on that chat platform, so non-phone. Just troubleshooting and resolving any issues. So you might have to troubleshoot tech issues for these users. Now, as far as what they're requiring, just previous experience in customer support or a similar role. So customer support doesn't have to be call center. It can be anything where you've served a customer before, again, like retail, serving waiting tables, things like that. You've got to have great communication skills, great problem solving skills, and be able to work those different shifts like nights and weekends. Now, next up, we have a Sun Life hiring. A Sun Life has 4,400 reviews on Glassdoor, an overall employee satisfaction rating of 4.1 out of 5 stars. Sun Life is looking for a member support representative, so this one is going to require phone work. They are hiring remote throughout the United States, but please note they're only hiring throughout the 48 states that are all combined in the big United States mass, so that leaves what Alaska and Hawaii are not included in this. But the position is going to take inbound phone calls and queries from claimants and policyholders, as well as Sun Life's internal claims professionals or any clients that have contracted with Sun Life. And so you're acting just as that primary contact, answering questions, identifying solutions to any problems, just taking ownership, making sure that you get them the information that they need. So topics might include things like eligibility questions, coverage, claim questions for their Sun Life benefits. So you'll just listen to the members and decide what the best course of action is. You'll take down claims or give them the claims process if they need to file a claim and just provide feedback to anybody that needs that. Now they are looking for somebody who takes ownership and accountability and make sure that they respond with urgency and being empathetic. Somebody who just has a great active listening skills and can manage those stressful situations, thinking outside the box, coming up with different solutions. And of course, you've got to have some technology skills, know how to navigate around a computer. You're going to be documenting all this stuff in the computer while you're on the phone. Now, if you scroll down to the bottom, we've got quite a bit of pay ranges. Pay for this position is going to be highly dependent on location but it looks like the lowest pay mentioned is $39,700 a year with the highest pay being about $63,500 a year. So that's a wide range. So just know if you're in a lower cost of living area, you'll probably end up with pay on the lower end. And if you're somewhere like California, New York, that has a higher cost of living, you'll end up on the higher end. 
Now, next up, we have the company Vitalent hiring. They have 432 reviews on Glassdoor, an overall employee satisfaction rating of 3.4 out of 5 stars. They're hiring a contact center quality specialist. Now this is remote. I'm assuming it's remote for the United States. They do have their location set as Phoenix, Arizona. They don't state that they have any state restrictions for this remote position, but they do list a contact person and an email address at Vitalent. So if you're interested in knowing if this position is available for states outside of Arizona, you might want to contact them and ask any questions. But what I would do, because job postings sometimes don't stay up forever. If you're interested in this one, I would go ahead and put the application in and then you can send that email to get confirmation or whatever. Pay for this position though is $17.66 an hour up to $22.78 an hour. And it is just what it sounds like a quality assurance person for their contact center. You're really responsible for just assessing the quality of the performance of those contact center associates, making sure that they are answering those emails and phone calls in a quality manner and giving the correct information. So you're gonna monitor the customer care team's activities, their phone calls, their emails and just grade them and give them feedback and responses and making sure that they're technical accurate their demeanor and tone is good with the customer just giving them any feedback to better their customer service and making sure they are in line following the company's policies and procedures now this only requires a high school diploma or GED and two years of customer contact center experience so this one is going to require like call center experience not just customer service now they do prefer somebody who is bilingual but it's not required all right if you've made it to the end of this video i owe you a huge thank you thank you thank you so so much for watching and supporting me feel free to leave in the comments anything that you're looking for i never make any promises but i do read those don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like button if you enjoyed anything share with your friends and family and i'll be back really really soon with more work from home job leads just for you